This video will introduce you to a treatment technique called hooded positive airway pressure non-invasive ventilation using the subsalve oxygen treatment hood coupled with the Nanotronics Health inhale. Both devices are authorized for emergency use by the US FDA during the COVID-19 pandemic. When paired together, they offer three critical capabilities for the management of respiratory distress. First, positive airway pressure is established non-invasively. Second, therapeutic oxygen can be delivered. Third, viral aerosolization is significantly reduced in the healthcare worker environment. These capabilities provide advantages as a highly cost-effective and immediately deliverable solution to managing patients in both conventional ICU settings as well as within environments being severely overburdened during the pandemic. Let's get started. The minimum required supplies are available as a kitted solution and include an inhale, a 15 volt power supply, a dual barb oxygen adapter, a 1.8 meter length section of corrugated tubing, a subsalve oxygen treatment hood, a short 100 cc section of corrugated tubing, and a viral filter. Additional supplies required at the treatment location include a pulse oximeter or similar patient monitoring, an oxygen source with adjustable flow and tubing, and a digital peak flow meter with a minimum reading of 25 liters per minute. To assemble the system, friction fit the dual barb adapter to the inhale. Next, connect the 1.8 meter hose section to the dual barb fitting. Connect the other end of the tubing to either port in the oxygen hood. Connect the small 100cc section to the other port of the oxygen hood. And last, fit the viral filter to the end of the short section of tubing. First, we open the service port on the oxygen treatment hood. Next, start the inhale. Push the button once to start flow. The device defaults to eight centimeters of water pressure. The hood is placed on the patient, adjusted for comfort, and service port is closed. The patient now has positive airway pressure and their exhalations are filtered from the healthcare provider's work environment. To deliver therapeutic oxygen, simply establish flow from the oxygen supply. To boost to high oxygen fractions, two oxygen supplies may be used. Flow should be periodically checked using a peak flow meter. Simply activate the device and place after the viral filter for a reading. If flow is decreased over time, simply change the filter. A reference chart is provided to guide adjustments to pressure and oxygen. Important safety note. All hooded or helmet positive airway pressure techniques require 60 liters per minute of fresh flow to reduce risks of carbon dioxide rebreathing. The inhale is optimized for this purpose and provides appropriate flows while configured with the subsalve hood through its full range of settings from four centimeters of water through to 20 centimeters of water. The one risk to flow reduction is any blockage of the viral filter which may occur from condensate or humidity. Flow should be periodically checked using a peak flow meter. Simply activate the device and place after the viral filter for a reading. If flow is decreased over time, simply change the filter. Hooded positive airway pressure techniques provide all the advantages of CPAP therapy with the added benefit of eliminated virus aerosolization. Studies have shown that when used proactively, Hooded ventilation techniques reduce progression to more severe respiratory distress.
Consequently, required intubations are reduced, sparing ventilators for those who need them most. This technique is well established internationally, however has evolved rapidly during the COVID-19 pandemic. Clinicians should review the medical literature as well as the instructions for use for each device for further guidance.